Last year, I showed you how to make a banana upside down cake, and this year, I'm gonna show you how to make the prequel to that recipe, the cake that inspired it all, a pineapple upside down cake, which is basically a layer of a fluffy vanilla cake baked atop a layer of pineapple and brown sugar caramel sauce. It is to die for, and I'm using fresh pineapple to make this recipe, which makes it all the more special, so let's get started. To begin, start by preparing the fruit. Now I'm using a nice, juicy, fresh pineapple for this recipe because it seems a little tragic to use canned fruit in this cake when you can get your hands on the real stuff. But of course, it's perfectly fine to use canned pineapple slices too. Now you'll need a good knife to maneuver through this pineapple, and today I'm using a chef's knife made by Kuma. It's a stainless steel knife that's super sharp, so be careful, but easy and very comfortable to use, and I highly recommend it for this type of cutting. And Kuma has generously offered to give you guys a 20% discount if you decide to purchase one, so be sure to check out all the information which I've provided for you in the description box down below. And once you're satisfied, you can move on to the caramel part of this cake. So in your baking tin, I'm using a nine inch circular ceramic dish. You want to mix together half a cup of brown sugar with a quarter cup of melted butter. Gently spread the mixture as evenly as possible on the bottom of the dish. Then you can arrange atop the pineapple. The reason I like to cut the pineapple into smaller pieces is so that I can fit in the maximum amount of fruit as possible in this cake, because if you only have a few pieces, you can't really call it a pineapple cake. Now you can set the dish aside while we prepare the vanilla cake batter. Add a third cup of soft, unsalted butter to a bowl, along with two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, and cream the ingredients together until light and fluffy. Then you can crack in one whole egg, and trickle in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just continue to beat the mixture until it's pale and fluffy. Next, you can toss in a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. When everything is well blended, pour in three quarters of a cup of well-shaken buttermilk into the mixture. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, just use three quarters of a cup of milk mixed with one and a half teaspoons of vinegar. Finally, stir in one and one third cups of all-purpose flour. When your result is a thick, fluffy, cream-colored mass, you are ready to lather it atop the pineapple sugar mixture. Now spread the batter out as evenly as possible, then you want to bake the cake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Don't let the cake cool too long because the longer you wait, the harder the sugar butter mixture will get and the harder it will be to release the cake from the pan. So cover the cake with a plate, make sure your hands are well protected because it's super hot, and this is the hardest part. In one swift motion, flip the cake over. And now for the moment of truth. Gently pull up the cake dish to uncover a steamy dessert coated in caramelized pineapples. I like to enjoy this cake when it's still warm and sticky, but a cold cake does make it a whole lot easier to cut. The tang and the tartness of the fruit complement the subtle sweetness of the cake beautifully. This is a great one for spring, or really whenever you can get your hands on some pineapple. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this pineapple upside down cake. If you decide to give this one a try, make sure to take a photo and tag me on Instagram or Facebook, I'm at Hot Chocolate Hits. As always, the full recipe for this cake is available on my blog at HotChocolateHits.com. And now if you're interested in buying a chef's knife, as I mentioned earlier, Kuma Knives is giving all of my viewers a 20% discount on the chef's knife that I use. It's an excellent product, so I highly recommend that you purchase it. All the details will be in the description box down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.